He's like a, a career con man, as you'll see in the different examples. He has no problem lying his ass off, just going on and full fabricating stories. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, we're going to talk about the many different scams of Napoleon Hill, the famous author of Think and Grow Rich. Okay, he was one of the founders of the whole self help scamming movement okay where lots of guys that are full of shit orchestrate elaborate cons in order to dupe the followers and and build kind of a cult and extract as much money as possible without delivering any kind of real value whatsoever okay a lot of you watching are huge napoleon hill fans he's on lots of recommended reading lists okay his think and grow rich book was very popular and he has some other books that were popular as well and he gave way to tony robbins and, and a whole bunch of other fucking idiots that just went forth and, and scammed the fuck out of a lot of people, okay? And, and as you'll see, a lot of the guys in the red pill space, in the pickup artist space that are coaches and gurus, okay, use a lot of the same tactics as this guy, aka not possessing any real expertise, but using a lot of woo nonsense and feel good type stuff so that you get all jazzed up and it's a lot of mental masturbation. You take out your fucking money and your checkbook and you pay these guys and they laugh all the way to the bank and deliver nothing in return. Okay, so this video is meant to destroy Napoleon Hill. Okay, for those of you that are that are fans and are skeptical, there's lots of incredibly good arguments in here. I'm just going to leverage this guy's nine minute video and provide commentary on it because he goes through and makes a, a pretty solid case for it. Um, but this should be very eye opening. Before we jump in, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell for new videos every single day. Also, if you want to master the game, uh, we have just now opened up the 30-minute free call slots on nights and weekends. Okay, Those used to be just during the daytime up until about 5 p.m. Eastern. So for all those of you watching that are, you know, that work during the day and you wanted to do one of those free 30-minute calls uh, and you wanted to do it in the evening or you wanted to do it on the weekends, we're talking about like U.S. time. That's where a lot of you that are watching my channel are based in. So in U.S. hours for the for the nights and the weekends, those are now opened up. Okay, so if you want to, and for anyone in any time zone on the weekends, if you'd like to book a free 30-minute call to see how I can take you from wherever you're at to get you to an advanced or elite level very quickly, jump on the free 30-minute call. As I said, nights and weekends are now open as well. So let's crack right into this and prepare to have your mind blown. This shit's fucking awesome. Napoleon Hill, best known for his book, you might have heard of Think and Grow Rich. There's this cult around Napoleon Hill saying that he's this great guy and he was on this great mission to teach people about the laws of su success but in reality he was just a scam artist okay so so he, here he is he's saying like lots of people worship Napoleon Hill they see that he's on your they think he's on your side and that he's out there to do good for you and he's like a, 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 a leading guru on how to be successful and make money and stuff like this but he's really a scam artist, okay? I, I equate this directly to guys like RST Tyler, okay, who, who they were running the leading dating company, Real Social Dynamics, uh, led by a guy who's massively putting on a facade, lying his ass off about skills and results, delivering shitloads of woo-woo nonsense to pollute the fucking dating community and, and set it way back. Okay, now let's look at all the elaborate scams that Napoleon Hill engaged in. Went broke many times in his life. You know, he would... Uh fake and alter checks he would do mail fraud he he stole cars so his first job <laughs> fake and alter checks mail fraud and stealing cars so listen, listen to his first scam here. he was working at this newspaper writing for the news and when there was nothing exciting enough happening he would just make stories up news that is not real there should be some kind of word for that so, so yeah, so he's going, so obviously this guy has no problem. He's like a, a career con man, as you'll see in the different examples. He has no problem lying his ass off, just going on and full fabricating stories. And there's a secret Napoleon Hill archive filled with his dirty secrets. Even his Wikipedia page says that he only had three marriages, when actually he had five. So one of his first all-out scams was this lumber business. He would buy lumber from people on credit and sell it to people he <laughs> all right so this is really interesting a lot of these a lot of these scams and schemes are actually pretty clever so like you can respect him on one level for being like smart and like manipulative to the degree of being able to pull some of these things off 
He's buying lumber on credit. Okay, l- listen to how he does this. And he's hiring people for fake car repair shops, right, where it's free labor, where these people are coming to learn how to repair cars. So he's getting free labor. And then he's having people pay him to, to be trained on how to do this stuff and then owe him interest. It's a lot of, like, very elaborate scams. Not about $20,000 worth of lumber. And in today's money, this is about $500,000 that he scammed from people. So he was forced to move. He moved to D.C. He changed his name. He changed his backstory. Started telling people that he, he was a car mechanic. So he starts <laughs> this car business, right? During these times, uh, you know, early 1900s. <laughs> All right, so cars are like the big thing now, right? And, and so he starts a car mechanic, but he doesn't know shit about repairing cars. This is just a scam to draw in people to work for free to repair cars so he gets paid. Cars are like the big meme. They're, it's like Bitcoin now. So he starts this car mechanic school where he tells people he can bring people in, teach them how to, be, uh, how to work on cars in six weeks and be able to make six-figure equivalent. But this business, it was all just a scam to get free labor, to get people to work on cars for him for free. And you know, he would like have his students fill out like questionnaires designed to figure out how much money they had so he can figure out how much money he can suck out of them. Eventually like the whole like car school thing was. So, all right, so he's running a fake car school. Okay, so he has people coming in and He's having them do free labor on the cars, right? But it turns out it implodes because those people don't really know how to repair cars. But then he moves on to more and more scams. Working out too well, probably because his students didn't know what they were doing. Then he switches <laughs> it up and kind of makes it a uh, car salesmanship school. And he makes it an MLM where you can get uh, money for referring people to these schools. And also what he would do is he would lend money to people so that they could pay for the school. He was providing student loans for them at 5% interest. But like, it's like the money's going to him. It's like, yeah, pay me interest so I can put money back into my own pocket. (laughs) This guy, Napoleon Hill, he's like, he's like on another level. He's playing four dimensional chess. (laughs) So eventually he gets... (laughs) All right, listen to how elaborate some of these scams get. He's married to this girl, fresh out of high school, a daughter of a United States congressman, and his wife's family is able to get him a job at this university or something. And then he starts printing out business cards that says he's a lawyer. He just... <laughs> All right, so now now he's putting out business cards that says he's a lawyer. He also comes up with this clever thing that this guy talks about later called the Napoleon Hill Award where all he the only purpose it's not it's basically nothing but but he like gives them to presidents and like famous people and then he gets printed in the newspaper his name gets printed next to these famous people this is just generating social proof excuse me generating social proof and clout and all this shit lies about everything throughout his life lies about <laughs> his connections his status everything so after he's done with that job eventually he starts this uh self-help school to t- now here we go self-help this so, so he was one of the originators of this shit. Keep in mind, it came from a, a career con man. Okay, for those of you that have Think and Grow Rich as part of your, your library for business success. Okay, he paved the way for most of the shitheads that exist today in trying to help men with real problems. Trying to help, of course, in full quotes. Okay, really just trying to extract as much money as possible and not help them. So let's see how this works here. Teach people about success. And he has these students teaching them success but the company is mostly just a scheme to sell stock to investors you know in those days the company was worth maybe one thousand two hundred dollars and he was selling shares in this company at a valuation of a hundred thousand dollars in 1900s money so he'd get people to invest and give him his money and then he'd just keep the money he also started this (laughs) uh golden rule magazine let's see here okay where he would uh, give famous people awards so that his name would appear in newspapers, the Napoleon Hill Award or whatever. Very (laughs) sneaky self-promotion tactics with this guy. And we're just scratching the surface now. 
after this, he started this fake charity that was supposed to uh, help uh, inmates in jail recover and readjust to a normal life. He started this company as a scheme to one, get one of his old mail fraud buddies out of jail. And two, he's also collecting donations for this charity. He's going to schools and he's taking money from everybody, even school children. Eventually, people find out that. Yeah, so again, full money extraction, uh, you know, the modern day equivalent, you have RST Max, Max Tornov, and fucking Derek Moneyberg uh, loading people up with high interest rate credit cards and loans that they know very well those guys won't be able to pay back. Okay, and just extracting money from as many people as possible, all under the guise of, of helping them. When it's really a scam. Ask the prison if they've received any money. They haven't. 100% of the money went into their pockets and the whole scheme collapsed. So later on, he publishes his first book. All right, so this is even before Thinking Grow Rich. So he puts out The Law of Success. The Law of Success. And he told people that Andrew Carnegie, who was <laughs> dead by this point, personally told him to go around interviewing the greatest people and figuring out the secrets of success and to write this book, The Law of Success. You know, he told people that he was an advisor for Woodrow Wilson, the president. <laughs> he told people he was an advisor for FDR too. And that he even came up with the phrase, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. <laughs> See, this is, this is pretty entertaining to me because it's, it's like I've been, I've been highlighting in the fact online, like with, with these other coaches that are talking shit that shows zero receipts, zero infields, whatever, they can just say whatever they want. Like Fresh Prince CEO, like I'm a stumbling, or I'm, I'm mumbling fucking uh, super beta that's overweight that was shown to not have any dating expertise whatsoever, just comes on camera. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm banging 1,500 girls a year, man. facts, man. Okay, right? It's like the same thing, same thing with this guy. Oh, Andrew Carnegie told me to go write this book. Oh, too bad we can't verify that he's dead. Oh, I came up with, you know, the famous president's fucking quotes, right? No one can verify these things. Like I said, anyone can say anything. And, you know, people will just, people that, that buy into this cult with this person, they're just going to believe whatever he says. And he can literally say anything. All those were lies. He never met Andrew Carnegie or any of these people. <laughs> he did meet Thomas Edison, though, to try to give him uh, one of his prizes. <laughs> this is Napoleon Hill here on the right. Uh, he gave him one of his, this is Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, a real actual great. And then this is the scammer here. And all he's doing is just fucking trying to give him his award just so he can appear in a picture with and him. And he got this picture with Edison. I think when he handed him the medal, he just handed it right back and didn't say anything. <laughs> and this book actually did well. He was making like $30,000 in today's money a month from the royalties from this book. Him and his wife, you know, they went crazy, they bought Rolls Royce, bought a new large house, and eventually a few years later they were completely broke. Yeah, at one point he said he was gonna turn his house into like a university for elite rich people to come brush up on their success skills, but that never happened. He writes another book, Magic Ladder to Success, it flops horribly. So he's trying to drum up more uh, more sales from his book for Law of Success. And he has this idea to have this contest to turn Law of Success into a movie script, into a full feature movie. And he gets all these high school students and everything in on this uh, big writing contest. But it's all just a scheme to sell more books. <laughs> it doesn't really work. So he goes back to his old game of selling stock to investors, taking money from people. Now, what a All right, so this is like career scamming, right? You know, he brings in the famous book, Think and Grow Rich. 15 million copies sold worldwide. So he's showing how this fits in now. About Think and Grow Rich. What about that? Where does it come in? He's lecturing one day on success, and he's talking about how he's looking for uh, a wife and everything. One of the girls in his lecture meets up with him and they get married like two days later, literally. <laughs> and with the help of his wife, he's able to write the book, Think and Grow Rich. Just think and grow rich. What can be easier? <laughs> what can be a better title? And his wife helps him like edit. So the book is actually wildly, wildly successful and he makes a whole bunch of money. He's out of poverty again. He gets 
the new house, the new cars, fancy clothes, they start spending extravagantly. And of course, a few years after this, he goes broke. So with his new <laughs> wife, who's just as scammy as him, now that they're broke, they're trying to uh, come up with a PR stunt to sell more books, sell more Think and Grow Rich. They start telling the news media that they're planning to adopt 15 kids and that they're going to raise these <laughs> kids to be the top kids of the world. And it's an experiment on raising kids. Yeah, they never adopt 15 kids. The two of them get divorced eventually, and then Napoleon Hill's back to his old scams, his old starting fake charities. And he's like 70 years old at this point. So he dies with very little money, and people still praise his name to this day. He was like the first person to really make a, a self-help book. Yeah, so, yeah, as you can see, that's why I want to do this video, because in the modern day, we now have like 95% of the dating industry and these other related industries that are completely full of shit, okay? Because anyone can come on the camera and say anything. No one, no one had, holds them to any standards of accountability or any standards of proof. Literally, just anyone can say anything, okay? And then a guy like myself who has the most proof in the industry by far, more so than all the other coaches combined, as I just talked about in a recent video, they're gonna say, oh, that's all fake, that's all hookers, right? And then all the guys, like Modern Life Dating is a, is a great example. He came into the field, no expertise, okay? He just ripped off a bunch of people's products, repackaged content, slapped his stupid uh, label on it, okay? And then just sits in his like all other dragon and door sunglasses with his like bobbing, hat, bobbing head cat, no receipts, no infields, no real skills. On his webinars and stuff for his courses, countless students have told me that he's just using them to upsell other products, just like Derek and Max. He can't answer questions because he's not a real expert. Okay, but he's gonna he's gonna try to talk shit on me. Okay, even though I've been in this game and, and coaching this for over a decade. Okay, but listen, look at look at how Napoleon Hill paved the way for all these fuckheads. And his influence is everywhere. His influence. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Is on the law of attraction. His influence is on Tony Robbins. Yeah. But I'm not trying to say like, oh, everybody's stupid and a retard for following this guy. <laughs> but I think now that you know that he was just a career scammer, you know, you really look at those books differently. You think, huh, is this book really supposed to help me or is it just supposed to make me feel good? There it is. And that's and that's the message, right? It's it's this this feel good shit. Okay, that most of the dating industry is just shoveling out dog shit content that makes you feel good. It's woo woo, it's mental masturbation. And I had a marketer uh, that just bought my stuff recently, but he's like a professional marketer. He said, so the issue with your stuff is you're selling the steak, you're selling results, you're selling like the real deal because you are the real deal. And there's not many of those. A lot of people don't want the fucking real deal. They don't want the steak. They want the sizzle. They want the emotional high and the, and the feel good stuff that comes along with, you know, all the woo woo nonsense. Look at this. You can succeed best and quickest by helping others succeed. You just say a lot of fucking ambiguous woo woo feel good stuff, right? Like, like people have said, like in Derek's trainings, it's like, oh, fire your boss, uh, like ditch the nine to five, like. You know, all these just like nice feel good buzzwords. Max uses them too. It's it, it's like oh live your dream life. You know all the shit behind the scenes. They've got little kids writing their content behind the scenes. They're be, they're instructing those little kids to purposefully overwhelm and confuse you. Their only goal is to extract as much money as possible. They'll lie about whatever they can. They'll hire models for fake lifestyles and all this shit. Okay, and, and the success rate of the program is absolute dog shit. And thank you, Napoleon Hill. Okay, so for all of you that have. Uh, read that book, Think and Grow Rich. Now you know the story behind it. And I think that can be extrapolated into our modern time. And, and you can see that the vast majority of these self-help people are, are completely full of shit. Okay, and that, that's why Spencer Cornelia's channels, Spencer Cornelia and CoffeeZilla's channels exist. Okay, so if you want to learn the real solution, if you want the steak, if you actually give a fuck about banging lots of hot girls and building a lifetime skill, that allows you to have the best chances with any hot girl you see to move her from open to close and be able to retain the ones you want. Okay, to build your dream rotation, get your full package girlfriend, and bang lots of hot chicks all the time, which is an amazing life. Okay, and, and has residuous effects into improving your friendships and your 
your familial relations and commanding more respect from other men and feeling better about yourself, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's the best thing anyone can do for themselves. If you want a real optimized system that can fast track you to optimize strategy and best level results, jump on that free 30 minute call. Like I said, uh, we do have openings now on the weekends and the evenings. Okay, so do not delay. The spots are limited for that. Uh, also subscribe below if you have not already for new videos every day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout stuff.